Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. It's 924 now. Well, how are you doing with those New Year's resolutions? Remember those? If getting more organized and cleaning out your closet was on your list, well, there's still plenty of time for a good closet cleanse. Good Day Atlanta's Katie Beasley got some advice from an expert on how to get started. It's a new year. You want a new you. And that kind of starts in your closet, right? So let's get some tips on how to clean that out. We've got Rob Ann Schulman, a style consultant with Plaid Monkey here. We've got Elizabeth, who just recently cleaned out this closet. Tell me some tips to, to kind of do. It's a daunting task to it's start a closet clean out. But hey, it's a lot easier than like a liquid cl cleanse, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a closet Much more cleanse? fun. Really. But really, honestly, it's really not as bad as people might think. Um, first of all, you do have to make sure that you're ready. Um, if you're not ready to go take a big hard look at your wardrobe then don't even waste your own time or anybody else's time I mean you just have to be ready to have the idea in your head that you might get rid of half of what you're wearing right now because you're really not wearing it now when I talked you know when I first met Elizabeth we went through her closet and I was kind of asking her her everyday life, every day, weekly, on the weekends, everything, just to get a feel for her lifestyle. So we went from there, and basically, when you do that, you realize the things that you need. You realize what you have too much of. She knew she had too many cotton pieces, run around, you know, pieces, Target, you know, kind of outfits. Mm -hmm. um, and she wanted to curate a better work wardrobe. So, how was how daunting was this for you? Because you have to, like you said, you have to be ready to do something like right. That. I mean, I knew I was ready, but I, I knew what I liked and what I didn't like. But she was able to kind of just put stuff together and be like, you know, your style. You just need to pull the right pieces. So that was really kind of fun. It made my life actually easier. Um, just as I can just go walk into my closet and I know exactly what I can pull together and everything mixes and matches, which is really great for my lifestyle. Absolutely. What other tips do you have about tackling this project? Well, you have to look at each piece literally take the time does this okay how do I feel about this do I love it do I wear it I mean if you absolutely love it yeah keep it if you don't love it toss it I mean if it makes you happy whatever that woman says keep it but what I'm saying is if you love it, it makes you feel good wear it okay um, if you're not wearing it why aren't you wearing it, it does not fit I mean, if it doesn't fit, if you got it altered correctly, would you wear it or not? And if you don't think so, if it's not worth altering something that you're not wearing right now, then just go out and buy something else and throw that out. But definitely throw that out. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's not an easy thing to do, but once you really sit down and look at them, there's probably so much in there that you could get rid of. Right. And I mean, they have to function well, too. Everything in your closet has to function well with, be friendly with the other pieces. <laughs> and if they're not, they don't match things. And if you have a piece in your closet, like it's a loner, I don't know why I got this. I think it was on sale. I mean, I hear that so many times. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, um, if you're not wearing it, it's got to go. But I got it on sale. I don't care. It's going. Bye-bye. You know, it's, there's no point in keeping things in your closet if they're not making any use. I mean, it's got to be able to function with other pieces, like I said, in your closet. So fit, how do you feel about it, function. You have to be ready to edit, edit, edit. Those are great tips because it's a perfect time to do it really with the new year to yes. try to get organized. That's one of my New Year's resolutions, so I'm going to take these tips to back home to my closet. Robbie, and thank you so much. Elizabeth, thank you for letting us into your home. Yeah. We appreciate it. Elise, back to you. Hey, that's some good advice there. Robbie, and also suggests that you keep a small section of seasonless clothes front and center in your closet since the weather in Atlanta is consistently swinging from one season to the other. That's one thing we can count on here for sure.